you need your badges grinded, and trust me when I say I know that it is a grind, you can go on Twitter and ask Elite Badge Grinding, and they will do it for you. You just pay a small fee, and your player can be maxed out immediately. Go check it out. Que pasa to the pack? It is pack here, and as you probably can imagine, I'm really excited because I always tell you guys how excited I'm um, about Next Generation, and we just got an actual gameplay trailer literally today. And what I wanted to do is really break it down, go literally frame by frame, and check out what I had noticed. There was 25 things I noticed. Some things were things I don't think anyone really noticed, and other things are just things are I'm really interested in, and I want to discuss that right now. But before this video starts, though, be an OG, join the pack, and subscribe. I talk about this stuff all the time, so check it out. Okay, so I'm going to start with the first thing that I noticed in this trailer, and that is the little opening like moment where it says that we get three My Team packs if we get a month of PlayStation Plus. So with the PlayStation 5, if you get PlayStation Plus, which I guess now is returning, you get three of my team packs every single month, basically for free. So, hey, I'm down with that free stuff. It's free stuff, man. I don't even care. Okay, second thing is you get an opening shot of Damian Lillard going for a dunk and already off rib. You can tell this looks so much better than last year. Just looking at this, like, just everything about it is just so beautiful. Looking at Damian Lillard yelling. You just can tell the detail is is on another level. The shading, the lighting, the the, the polygons, everything. Mwah, beautiful. Up next, probably not as important to all of you, but the ball has some lighting now too. Now a big thing about this generation is the lighting and ray tracing. And you can see a little bit of reflection of the light off the ball, which is a nice little detail that I liked that I had noticed. Up next is Damian Lillard's face expression. When he yells, you see the neck veins just explode. You can see so much detail on that. Not only with that, you can kind of see his mouth guard and his teeth. You can see the detail there. You can see how his nose, on the top of his nose, you see all like the little scrunchiness coming out because he's yelling. It just looks so, so real. People are saying that this is like the closest to realism that we've ever seen. Some people even think it looks like pictures, like real pictures, and they kind of like edited it a little bit to make it look like video games. That's how realistic it's been looking. At number five is this opening intro with Luka Doncic, as you see him with a Dallas Mavericks shirt on. Walking into the stadium, you see the brightness of the stadium. He walks out and then the light adjusts. Look how crazy that looks. See the little fist bumps to Mark Cuban. He's like, yeah, homie, yes, sir. And then you see him hype up the crowd, run in, high five the mascot, the coach is talking. That is so crazy. A nice little detail. I wonder if they're going to let you do that with your my player or my character or for my career from now on. That'd be really cool. Or from the best player on every team, when you start a game, it does that from now on. That'd be kind of a cool thing to do. I'd be down for that. I think that looked really, really solid. The sixth thing that I had noticed is that the crowd is hyper realistic. I mean, just look at some of these players' faces, the way they're reacting. Every nobody has the same face, which last year was a big thing. Everyone was like the same like model, or like half the people were the same model. Now everyone's completely different. They all act differently. They all do different things at different times. Everyone's wearing different things. Even opposing crowds wearing opposing clothes stuff. It just looks so much more realistic, and it makes you feel like there's actually a crowd when you're playing. That is what I had been begging for last generation so much. Now they finally added a realistic crowd for the first time. And in years of people asking for this. At number seven is that Steph Curry. Look at Curry. Oh my gosh, he looks so realistic here. It is insane. Like, look at Curry, man. Like, that's for flight. That look. I, I'm sure when flight saw this, he freaked out because, oh my gosh, he looks so realistic. Not just the face, but the body scan. All of it. The lighting on him is just crazy. Keeping on this at number eight is the lighting itself. Look how it's reflecting off his forehead, off his shoulders, off the sweat, off even the mouth guard and like he's, he's chewing onto the nose. It, ju it just adds a whole different dimension to the simulation of this. It's crazy. And another thing I wanted to notice at number nine is the hair. You can see the hair on the top of his head and the beard hair. You can kind of see each and every hair has been modeled. You can see this hyper detail. What people have been saying in this generation that that was going to be possible the hair was going to be able to be modeled by every single hair and you can kind of tell that in this footage here it is wild at number 10 is clay thompson whoa dude of all the players in this video everybody looks crazy clay thompson looks the most realistic out of anybody in this entire video 
Dude actually straight up looks like Clay Thompson. It is crazy how good he looks in this trailer pause but for real though it looks just like him that is crazy at number 11 is a small detail but look at the detail they did on the rim you can see the lighting move around on the rim you can see like where they've been welding it and painting it over on the rim you can see the little details and also we've already talked about the net and how the net like moves and you can actually tell that the net is like a, a picture it's actually 3d rendered it is crazy and it has physics as well that is awesome and number 12 is clay thompson's brand new jump shot landing i don't know if that was already in the game but from my understanding i mean i've seen jump shot landings here and there but that one's one i've never seen really and i think it's pretty cool kind of unlike clay thompson if i'm just gonna be honest with you but it's in the game now so there's that and number 13 is something that is so unrealistic but tim hardaway jr posters i believe marquis chris I, I believe that's who that was he posters him and you can see how the bodies connect with each other which is really cool to see that there's more physics into this game and then he does a brand new little like hype celebration when he posters him but again tim hardaway jr ain't postering nobody lately i just throwing that out there and number 14 is another crazy detail that i noticed and that is that the ball actually bends when it bounces. I know it's a small little detail, but that just adds more to the physics of this game. You can see the ball on the bottom when it hits the floor, it bends up like a real basketball. And oh, that's so cool to me. And number 15 is adding on to this scene is when Curry and his fingers and how they're actually touching the basketball. We always talk about how like in 2K, it's always been like the player kind is touching the basketball, but not really like sometimes even though he's dribbling the ball, like the fingers never contact with the ball. You can see full contact with the fingers here with the ball. And you see the fingers bending when it touches the ball. So it's it's just, it looks like they added physics to every single one of Curry's fingers. And that is just even more detail. It's insane to me. And number 16 is, I know I'm talking about a lot about the shot, but look at Curry's fingers and his fingernails and the detail on his hands, the vein on the top of his hands. Even more detail than I could ever imagine is added onto this. At number 17, we see something really cool. And that is that when Curry's trying to contest the shot of Luka Doncic, he doesn't just put a hand up. When Luka's putting the ball up, he swipes at the ball first, and then he goes to contest. And I think that is such a cool little detail. And number 18 is just the referees. I mean, look how great they look detail-wise. You can see a lot more details on their faces. Before, players were the most focused players like, in terms of face scans. Everybody else was just secondary, didn't care. Now the crowd has detail. The referee has detail too, and that's really cool. At number 19 is Steve Kerr. Oh, if you've ever seen the coaches' face scans in 2K20 and 2K21 current generation, they're terrible. But this is actually really good. It really does look like, like Steve Kerr here. Really, really solid. I'm glad they're focusing on every Everybody, not just the players at number 20 it is the court lighting this is just adding on to the ray tracing even though this is similar to the lighting in 2k 14 and 15 it still is nice to see that the, the reflection off every single piece of the wood that was really cool to see at 21 it is Bobon and how well they were able to design him because Bobon's one of the harder players to do a face scan of and if they were able to get Bobon right they're basically able to get anybody right and that's a really impressive thing to see especially his ears and how detailed they made him that's really cool at number 22 is something personal I like is that the cameraman even the cameraman has detail and the camera itself is high definition like they really went out of the way to put detail into that camera and that's just cool to me that they're adding details to everything here at number 23 is the jersey I mean look at the fabric you can see the little holes in the jersey and the different kind of material from the circle like the logo itself to the lettering to the jersey fabric like everything has its own little material and, and detail and that's so cool to see at number 24 is it looks like there's gonna be some brand new game winner celebrations i've always been saying when there's a game winner or a very important shot that's made the crowd the players are very like robotic they're like yeah we did it I, if something hype happens i need everybody to be hype and that's what you can tell here in this trailer is that the crowd and curry and the teammates get crazy hype which is good and finally it's just how beautiful this game looks this is 4k and i hope that you guys have been watching this in 4k to really tell how beautiful this looks 4k 60 frames per second that is two times better than what we were using and we used and playing with in nba 2k21 and 2k20 now you're really seeing the real detail of what the next generation can do with the frames and also the pixels and it's 
beautiful. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't care about graphics and care more about the movement and the gameplay, and I'll talk about more of this stuff when we get more information, but it looks like the physics of the game is getting a little better, and hopefully that means better gameplay. What do you guys think about the graphics? What is something that I missed? Leave it in the comments below, and if you like this channel, give it a sub, and I'll see you guys next time. If you want all the latest news of NBA 2K and also NBA in general, you should follow me on my Twitter account at PackHoopsYT. T. Not only that, I do giveaways all the time when it comes to VC, games, and also even consoles. So check it out, follow me, and see you there.